Matter of fact, before we go in, yeah, 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 back to the earth, back to the earth. Watch this video, do me a solid. Hit the subscribe button below and the notification bell. Watch this. Re uh, go read on. And the first came out red all over like a hairy garment. So the older one, the eldest, came out red, all the whole body red, right? All over and like what? A hairy garment. What happens, sir, if you don't shave? Look, look, I'm, I'm light skin, right? Now take a look at my arms, right? Yeah. Take a look at, take a look at my sister arms. Let me see your arms, brother. Take a, take a look at my brother's arms, right? Look behind you. That's another brother. Arms, right? Yeah. Now look at your arms, sir. Yeah. All right. Know. What happens if there is no Gillette for you? Gillette. There's no Bic for you. There's no uh, what's the Remington shaver for you. There is no Andes. There is no. Give me some more wall liners, wall. What happens if all that is taken away from you and your people? I'll chip up a lava rock and shave with it. What? See, see. Man. Now we understand the cave part of all of this, right? <laughs> but let's, you, you know, right? But. The point is, if you take away all means of shaving your hair off, what happens to you and your people? You grow hair. How much? Probably yeah, quite like a bit. Put. It looks like you said. <laughs> <laughs> so I ain't trying to insult my man, but I mean, we're just trying to understand what the Bible is talking about. Sir, I don't mean to, so I'm just, I'm we're trying to understand you. what the Bible is talking about, right? You. So it says, the first, the elder came out red all over. All over. Even if I'm blushing, my whole body ain't red. Right? right? Even if my sister blushed. Her whole body, my brother, but, right. Yeah. So this is talking about a race of people on the earth. We're gonna read more, watch this. Like a hairy garment. And like a hairy garment. And red and hairy as hell. Come on. And they called his name Esau. Come on. And after that came his brother out. So after the red, hairy all over like a garment came out, the older, his brother came out. The, the younger. The younger, okay. right? So the first one was Esau, that's the older. He came out, now we're gonna go into the younger, which is who? Jacob. Jacob, come on. And his head took hold of Esau's heel. Wait, you skipped something. It, it was supposed to talk about his color and his hair type and all that stuff, right? Right, so it jumps straight from the description of Esau to something the other one was doing. It doesn't describe the color of Jacob. It doesn't describe the hair type of Jacob. You know why? Go to Genesis. Hold that. We're coming right back. Go to Genesis 1 and 27. Right? 1 and 26. Go to Genesis 1 and 26. I'm going to show you why it doesn't describe Jacob. Why is Jacob not described? He wrestled with God. No, that's before then. So why is he not described? Why is this, the way he looks is not described? Watch this. The book of Genesis chapter 1 verse 26. Come on. And God said, let us make man in our image after the likeness and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea uh -huh. and over the fowl of the air and over all the earth right now, hold, don't don't forget that jump down no verse uh two, chapter two, two verse seven. chapter two you got it watch this now remember god said god said with the host and with all his angels around him listen let us make man and iron. We gonna, when we create man, he's going to look like us, right? All right. Agree? Agree. Right? That's what happened up there, right? Come on. Chapter 2, verse 7. And the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life. So now it says God formed man of the dust of the ground. Yeah. Have you ever seen a dust your skin color? Ever? Not that I Never can think seen of. No white dirt? Nobody ever seen that. Nobody, even when we say red dirt, it's still brown. It's still brown. When we call it red, it's still brown. So it said, God said he formed man of the dust of the ground. The dust of the ground, does it look like your people in pigment, in color? I've been all over the world, so I wouldn't know. Me too. <laughs> I, me too, and I can Sorry. say no. Okay. There is no dust I have ever seen the color of your people, ever, anywhere on the planet that I've been. I haven't been to Antarctica. It might depend on what it's made out of. Say it again? It might depend on what it's made out of. I know. The dust of the ground. The dust of the ground. There's lots of things that come from the ground. But the dust of the ground. 
yeah. not a flower of it, not a, 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 a tree of it, not a trees is even brown, but not a tree, not a rock of it. The dust of the ground is what color? It's brown. It's brown. The deeper you go, the darker it gets. Right. Yeah. So just in case you're not yeah. satisfied with how bright it is on top, you now nah, we gotta find something. My color. Go it's deeper. still it, the further you go, the darker it gets. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Go, was that it on that? In Genesis, go back. Genesis 25. Come on. Yeah, it comes from the earth. Genesis 25. Mm -hmm. And the first came out red all over, uh -huh. like a hairy garment. And they called his name Esau. They called the first one Esau, the red one hairy as hell, right? Come on. And after that, after he came out, his little brother came out, come on, came his brother out. Uh -huh. And his hand took hold on Esau's heel. He grabbed his heel. As he was coming, Esau coming out, Jacob grabbed his big brother's heel, right? Watch this. And his name was called Jacob. His name was called Jacob. Watch this. And Isaac was three score years when she bare them. Mm -hmm. And the boys grew, and Esau was a cunning hunter. Now we're gonna get into we're gonna get into some more of the characteristics because I don't want you to be confused, sir. What's your name? Brian. Brian, I don't want you to be confused, Brian. I want you to know plainly what God has established, right? God has established. I can't change it. No, these men, my brother and my sister here, we can't change it. You can't change it, right? So we want you to understand plainly what God has established, right? So it says that Esau grew up to be a cunning hunter. Who hunts better than your people? Name me, give me one other people. Man is the only great hunter. What I, we talk, remember, we're talking about nations. What nation hunts better than your nation? I don't know. Me There's either. hunters all over the world. Me, no, I'm not talking about play play. I'm not talking about run after a, a, a deer in the forest. I'm not talking about catch a pig. And I'm not talking about go find your dog when it's lost. I'm talking about... I'm, I'm, no, I'm talking about, I'm talking about hunt as in destroy nations with your skill. That's what I'm talking. I'm talking about the the epitome of hunting. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, God can't help, but what man? What nation? They can wipe. Yeah, a civilization hunting. off by the planet. Hunting, meaning by war, by death. Well, we have two high powers. That's America and Japan. <laughs> you think Japan is a high power? You bombed Japan. Yeah, right. Your people bombed the hell out of Japan. Japan was our enemy until you did that. Japan was America's enemy I'm until... Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Right you familiar with Hiroshima. There, you know about Hiroshima. Yeah. yeah. And though you weren't there, your fathers were there. Yeah. Your ancestors My great-grandfather fought in World War II. There you go. There you have it. Right? So your people created... My people didn't create that thing they dropped. Even that thing was so terrible. Your man, your German uh, predecessor, your German uh, predecessor, right? Your German kinsman, your German uh, brethren said, "Yo, this thing is the father of death. This is I am Satan. I am what is I have become death." Yeah, that's what he said. I mean, I am Satan. He couldn't believe he created this thing. It was so deadly. It was so destructive. That's what I mean, hunting. <laughs> when God say this man was a cunning hunter, he ain't talking about play. He ain't talking about some, it's other people better. He just giving them a nice word. and a, He's encouraged. No, he, to God, you are, you are a hunter. To him, you on his, listen, he said you, to, you, to, you are the hunter of this world. God said that. And that's your blessing, sir. That's why you, that's why you, your people rule the entire planet by war. That's why. I don't have a people. You, you just told me you're Irish. Yeah, I'm Irish. I live on an island. I, I live a, my people live on an island. Uh huh. But you, we don't mess with nobody. Like, we drink and be happy. Listen, listen. okay, we're gonna get to that. After this Isaiah 14, we gotta do it. Come on. Go ahead, read that. Watch this, listen carefully. And the boys grew, and Esau was a cunning hunter. So when they grew up, Esau was a cunning hunter. Come on. A man of the field. A man of the field. A man of the field. Are you uncomfortable in the field? Or are you comfortable? You comfortable there, right? It's comfortable. Your natural that's your natural inclination, the field. That's in the Bible. God made you like that. Watch this. And Jacob was a plain man. Jacob was a plain man. He didn't he didn't hunt much. He didn't do the the uh the field stuff. He he was a plain man. He was more simple, right? Come on. Dwelling in tents. He just dwelled in tents. Watch this. And Isaac loved Esau. And Isaac loved Esau. Why? Because he did eat of his venison. 
Esau was a hunter. He was a wise, he was a crafty hunter. He brought, he go and get the deer, bring it home, cook it up just how his father Isaac like it, and give it to him. Isaac didn't have to do nothing. Isaac could retire because he, he, because God bored, uh, gave him Esau. He could retire. He don't gotta hunt no more. He don't gotta run, chase no deers, and they can run. He don't got. He can just chill. He don't gotta deal with the farm animals, chain clean up after them. Esau take care of all of that, right? So, so Isaac loved him. He was no, he made my life easy, like a son should, right? Watch this. But Rebecca loved Jacob. But Rebecca, the mother, loved Jacob. Why? Why did she love Jacob and not her other son that came out of her? Why did she love Jacob? Why did she love Jacob? She loved Jacob because she understood what both of them were before they were born. Remember, she's the one that inquired of the Lord, and He told her, "Listen." This is why you're having problems. The, the children are fighting inside of you. Soon as they come, they're two different people, two different nations. Soon as they come out, they are not, they're going to be at odds. Soon as they come out. She understood that. Now remember, if this Bible, if this Bible was not, I've seen you before somewhere, bro. But if this Bible was not abbreviated, it would be way more than this. So in the story of... In the story of two nations, two manner of people are within thy womb and they shall be separated from thy bowels. You have to understand, it is so much prophecy in just that abbreviated sentence we read in the Bible. So what's actually happening? What would make them separate? Hatred. Yeah. Hatred. Rivalry. Huh? Hatred. Rivalry. Rivalry. The sibling what, rivalry. Yes. That's what we're doing. We have sibling. So, uh, our children have that. But this is, it's, remember it said nations too. So they ain't even siblings. Nope. They're not even, They're not even related. Different nations. This is only the power of God now. But watch this. And Jacob sawed pottage. Uh -huh. And Jacob sawed pottage. So one day, Jacob was siding pottage, meaning he was making some stew. Sod means to like boil or use water or broth or bait, stuff like that, right? So he's siding pottage. He's making some pottage, right? Come on. And Esau came from the field. Esau was tired. He came from the field, saw this pottage. Come on. And he was faint. Uh huh. He was tired from his hunt, right? Come on. And Esau said to Jacob, uh huh. Feed me, I pray thee. He said, Feed me, I pray thee. Come on, man. Give me, give me some of that pottage, man. Right? He was hungry. He was faint, right? Watch this. With that same red pottage. Come on. For I am faint. Uh huh. Therefore was the name called Edom. Therefore was the name called Edom. Therefore was the so this is alluding to a city. Do you you when you read further in the Bible, I believe it's chapter thirty-eight. Chapter thirty-eight, it talks about the cities of Egypt or the I mean the cities of Esau or the people of Esau. Their cities would be named Edom. Their citizenship would be named Edomites. So the Edomites in the Bible are actually the sons of Esau. Those are the people of Esau. Right? Red all over and like a hairy garment. Those people. Those are the Edomites in the Bible. Watch this. And it's remember the, 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 the narrative about the pottage, right? Watch this. And Jacob said, uh -huh. sell me this day thy birthright. He said, sell me your birth. Jacob said, sell me. You want this pottage here that I'm making? Sell me your birthright. Meaning, <laughs> sell, who had the birthright? The eldest. Esau had the birthright. So he thought anyway. We know God established something way before they was even born. But he, as far as he knows, as far as even Isaac knows, Esau has the birthright. He's, exactly. So he said, sell me that thing. Sell me your birthright thing. I got you. You can have all this pottage. Just sell me the birthright. Watch this. And Esau said, behold, I am at this point to die. He said, yo, I'm so hungry. I'm about to die. Watch this. And what profit uh -huh. shall the shall the birthright do to me? He said, what I care about a birthright? I'm hungry as hell. I'm starving. Come on. And Jacob said, swear to me this day and to swear unto him. And he sold his birthright unto Jacob. Jacob, I, I have to correct the narrative that this is common in this world about Esau tricking or Jacob tricking Esau. What, what was the trick here? It was fair and square. Hey, I give you the pottage for the birthright. Bet. Take it. I don't. Bet. Yep. Birthright gone. Wow. That's it. So where's the trickery? Because he wasn't supposed to. Exactly. That was really. That's what it. Before they even. Before they even made the deal. Right. He was never supposed to have. It was never his to begin with. According to the Creator of all things. We used to scream black power. 
while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.